It's a show. It's a podcast show. Welcome to the Julie Cross Podcast Show. Empowering, energising and entertaining. Hi there, friends. Welcome, welcome. Julie Cross here. Glad you're tuning in again. Today I want to talk about, now I've yarped on this, about this before, but I'm going to go back and revisit it because it's so important. I've got a story to share, particularly around this subject, but it's about being you. With all of the policy and procedures we have these days in organisations, and they are necessary, I understand that, but they've become such a huge focus, you know, policy and procedures and the way we do everything. We've got to be careful that we don't policy and procedure the individual personalities out of your business, because that is what we connect to and that is what keeps us coming back. We need individuals showing up. And if you are a leader, you need to inspire your individual team members to to show up with their personalities, their uniqueness, what I call their sparkle, Uh, because that's what we connect to on the deepest of levels. And if we're not doing that, we're beige, where there's no bursts of colour and sparkle. We're just beige. And so therefore, we're not winning. We're not standing out from the crowd. We're not delighting and wowing our customers. We're not inspiring them to buy from us. And I just want to talk about a situation where somebody did this so beautifully and it was in a a local shop to me in Redcliffe here called Molly and Rose. And I wander in as I frequently do into this shop and this particular time it was on the weekend and the staff have always been wonderful there. But on this particular day, I really got wowed. As I walked in, she was just a young lady behind the counter, but she immediately greeted us with a very, you know, non-threatening, but just a wonderful like welcome to our store. Uh, And then she would notice what I would look at and add a little comment. Yes, aren't those clothes beautiful? We've just got them in in the last couple of days. I really love that easy to wear linen. I then looked at some earrings. Uh, Those earrings there are actually made by a local designer. You know, we love to support our local designers and our uh, local artists. And so you see all of this is adding that little bit of value. And and, you know, and I ended up buying the earrings and they, they were more than I probably wanted to spend on earrings. But it was that added value that she did, the uniqueness, a little bit of the, the bubble, the sparkle, uh, the ownership, the excitement, the enthusiasm that she added to the earrings that inspired me to buy them. But wait, there's more. As I, we were then chatting and she was wrapping up my um, purchases, she then says, hasn't the weather been wonderful? And we were both commenting about how beautiful it is. And she said, oh, look, I love to garden. Now, this did not look like the young girl that neat, well, loves to garden, but here she is. I love to garden and I love, I've got a beautiful garden. And in fact, I bought in these passion fruits to fr- straight from my garden to share with my customers today. Would you like some to take with you? Now, how wonderful is that? It's brave because she's doing something that totally is totally unexpected from this particular shop. It's not a produce store. So it's very brave because she's putting, you know, herself out there. Um, it, it's adding her uniqueness, her love of a garden. She's brought that into her job and added that value to her interaction with her customers. And she's giving us a little bit of her Now, that is wonderful and that's exactly what I'm talking about, about embracing the uniqueness and encourage our team members to do do things and, and give those moments that are way outside of the policy and the procedures. That makes me go, wow. That has me telling everybody about it on social media platforms, on tagging them. I rang her boss to let her know how impressed I was with the service. I'm now talking about her on my podcast show. When the universe has an opportunity, who do you think gets a tap on the shoulder young people like that you know which which shop is the one that I'm 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 spruiking about that particular one where a leader has inspired her team members to give a little more of themselves so it really does work and it serves us well and she is having a great time at work she is having a great time so um add a little more of you. We want you. We want you to show up. We want to see more of you in whatever stage you've chosen to serve the world from. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Would you like a little bit more sparkle? Then you're invited to download a free poster at juliecross.com.au.